Yo, what's going on guys? Mordekaiser got possibly the biggest buff he's ever received and that is on his R. People can no longer escape it once they're in it. So QSS, Gangplank Orange, Olaf R, Alistair R, no longer can people get out. This used to be Mordekaiser's main issue with scaling in the late game, especially if you're ahead. The enemy AD carry would always pick up a QSS. They can't get out anymore. So once you pop your R on them, it makes having Ghost and Flash more viable than ever for closing distance and bonking them on the head. Mord win rate has shot up quite a bit, so his his pick rate, so I recommend getting in on the train. For your runes, you want to go for Conquer, Triumph, Tenacity, Last Stand, Gathering Storm, Transcendence with double AP, and Scaling Health. If you do have Flash Ghost, it will way outscale anything else, but it will hurt your early game a little bit. So try to pace yourself, especially in hard matchups, keep your HP up. We got the Doran's Ring, two health potions to give us maximum health. Against a ranged matchup, I would have gone D-Shield and probably second win in my secondary runes. For our build, first item is always Rhylize because it's ridiculously cheap, gives us the permaslow through passive. After Rhylize, we're gonna looking to go for a Rift Maker into a Leandris. We want to go Rift Maker second because it gives us ability haste, which Leandris doesn't. For our boot option against their team, probably be plated. They have triple kind of AD. Ward's level one's trash. His level two is kind of trash as well. His level three is decent. We have to be willing to give up CS against something like this. He didn't pressure me for that. That's a good sign. He's going to give me an easy lane. If he were to step towards me as I stepped forward for that minion, I would have stepped away and just given it. Got both the minions and his bone plating. That's really good. You see the bone plating recharging right there. He doesn't have D shield. He just has a D blade. So our damage should stick decently. All right, there's his shield. We'll drop a fat Q on his head. We'll walk away. Nice. We have the wave in an okay spot. We'll grab E next. He gives you a lot more uh, options, especially if you're near your turret, because if you land it. I have zero lane prior right now. I think he owns a warding at the moment, too. Oh, wait. No, he wasn't. He wasn't warding. He was hiding in a bush. thought he was. Auto Q. So we'll hook him out with the E. Got our passive up. Uh, I actually missed that. That sucks. I'm going to heal that off. He's playing pretty aggressive. I'm going to pop my potion. Oh, yeah, he's, he's playing super aggressive. I got a ward down. Got him with our Q, down he goes. Pretty messy fight all in all. We were just kind of trying to hold on to our E for as long as possible so we don't miss it. Man, I gotta finish pushing. I didn't have to use my Ghost or Flash there. Yone had kind of committed to dying. It's one of the biggest downsides of being super aggro on a top as a top laner early on. As a top laner, you're the most likely lane to get ganked because jungles tend to path from bot to top side. In my opinion, jungle should gank for bot side early. Uh, bot's way easier to gank with the wall changes compared to top and mid. Is what it is. First item back, we're going to get as much of Rhylize as we can afford. We're not even going to buy boots. If we're up against a ranged matchup, particularly an auto attack AD one, like a Quinn, Vayne, Tristana, uh, any kind of ranged AD top laner, Jin Lucian, we would go plated. You have to rush plated versus AD range champions top lane you have no choice played it is your only item option now against a teemo i would just go tier one boots if they had a magic damage jungler as well like evelyn and a teemo top then i'd go merc treads first and then get my rylas but in this case i can get away with just kind of tier ones go ahead and shield ourselves away from that damage oop oh, i didn't even realize in was here i'm on ghost yon's gonna dash away of course there's our passive. He's really got nowhere to go, though. That's the dangerous thing about playing something like a Yon or Yasuo top, is how do you escape? And he keeps pushing the lane. Once I have my R, I could pretty much take on anybody. It's just pre-6. You, you can't simply just walk at people and expect to win a fight as more. He doesn't quite work like that. Now, if all of our abilities are up, we have HP advantage. Otherwise, we kind of just play around our W shield. 
when our W's up, Q and E are up, then we can look to do a little bit more. Our Q does more damage if it hits a single target. It's like 50% more. I don't want to reactivate my W. doesn't have much in it right now. Graves is mid, so I'm free to play kind of aggressive and not get punished. I'll lock him down again with the Q. We're going to just reactivate that. I'm almost six. He's trying to force it out here. I'm going to flash past it. I kind of had to, unfortunately. Him hitting six there. I'm a little surprised with how much he's died, but I guess he does have TP. We got with the hook. Again with the R. Auto. Auto Q. That's what I'm saying. Your hook when you're near your turret on Mord is so dangerous. It's a big reason why you don't typically push early on him. He's too easy to gank, like to die to ganks. If we actually hit that EQ near turret, they're donezo. His wave's actually going to push to me from here, even though I technically have minion advantage. You see how it's tight and closer to his side? You'll see I'll lose my minion first, and then he'll get reinforcement first here. So it's best for us to just leave it, come back, and we'll have a spicy advantage. Huge purchase for us. So yeah, you'll see, you'll see. It'll be coming our way. So if I was Graves right now, I would say, man, I don't want to go top. It's pushing to the enemy top laner. That's exactly what's going to happen here, even if he didn't touch it. Looks like Graves just got Rift Grubs. Graves' farm is really healthy through his armor, grit, plus fleet. He's always full health. You can't, we can't even expect him to be low after taking those, necessarily. I don't have my R, so I'm not looking to really fight Yon to the death. Just take really short trades with him. Yeah, he's such a pesky character. The amount of damage he does is wild. I don't know if this... Oh, I guess it's not worded. Auto will catch him out with the E. Got my W on. I wouldn't have taken this fight, but since Zin's here, it just kind of makes sense. If Zin wasn't here, it'd make no sense for me to take that since I was at a huge HP deficit. I don't have my R. R's on a cooldown, we're not looking for all ins to the death without jungler. Zin needs to give some help to our bot lane. Even if I get ganked by Graves, I could 1v2 them if my R's up. We go another point in the E. I don't have enough HP to kill him in between turrets. If I was at 1200, I would try it. Eh, yeah, I don't like it. Let's get our shield up. We might actually be able to fight him here if he tries it. If we stack our shield up a bit. Alright, well oh, he went straight through my R with his back with his back bend crap. I didn't realize it would actually do that. Hmm. I have to be really careful about when I R this guy, because if he goes backwards as I'm doing it. The key is they just can't get out of your R once they're technically in it. But my R was, he wasn't truly in it yet. I was just casting it. That's wild, man. We got boots, armor. We'll be good to go. I, I have to be patient because if I do cast R, which is about a half second cast, and he jumps back like you saw there, <clears throat> that's such a bad interaction. I think Mordekaiser's most challenging matchup at the moment is specifically ranged characters, especially if they know how to kite. Playing against a vein, a Kel is pretty hard. Melee's in general, he doesn't struggle with other than Olaf. I think Olaf's pretty tough. I think that matchup's going to be quite a bit easier now, though, since he can't break out of your R. But the problem is, is he'll still solo you from that position, I think. I'm going to push this down. I might be able to take a play. Graves is bot side, so I'm free to do so. Oh, what is this guy doing? <clears throat> Got him with the Q. There's my passive. It's a lot of damage. Our passive also gives every single one of our autos bonus damage as well. A lot of people don't realize that. That's why more autos hit so hard.
Didn't quite get it. Throughout the queue, don't quite get it. I want to get him with an auto, my W's up. I will reactivate heal off that. Auto into Q. He definitely wants to back, but at the same time, he, he clearly needs gold. I think Graves wants to come top. Got him with the EQ. Shield that off, heal. Graves is in Zin's jungle area. I have my R and Ghost though, so I'm not too concerned. Yon's definitely going to reset here. He's at, he's at least thinking about it. Yeah, he did it. I'm not seeing Graves. Graves must be on up. Uh, Graves must be on those grubs. Yeah, Graves is definitely doing grubs right now. He was in that area, so unless he just reset randomly. Yeah. Hmm. I'm just going to press R on his head. Beat the crap out of him. Auto Q auto. Yeah, this is not going to be a close fight for this guy. Yeah, down he goes. <laughs> There's no chance. Once you have Rylize on board, I'd already pressed R on him as well, which took away 10% of his stats and gave him to me. That's a 20% uh, stat change. He's a goner at that point. We'll go ahead and heal it off. Looks like Graves ended up staying even after I spooked him. Down he goes. Oh, I didn't want to take a turret shot for that. Boop. I don't have R, so I'm not really looking to fight Yon. I just want to take as much of this as I can. I only have one Rift Grub. Our team's only taken one, so my others have a tiny bit of extra damage against turret. Nice. Got the plate. Reactivate for the little heal. If he's not a full item, I might still be able to take him. He doesn't have ignite or anything. No exhaust, so. Throughout the EQ auto. We got my W on. And now our passive should just mulch the fudge out of him. I mean, he already lost like all of his health there. Maybe I should just push then. Rift Grub is still up. Looks like Yon decided to stay. Yeah, it's not a bad trade. I'm not sure if his R's on true cooldown or not because he kind of casted it right as I was killing him. With some abilities, it doesn't eat up the cooldown when that happens. So others, it does. Gone with the EQ. Oh my gosh. I couldn't get down my W because I was knocked up. Well played to him. That sucks. He got 855 gold, nearly three kills worth of gold off that. Absolutely tragic. From here, we do go for Rift Maker. Look for the ability haste portion first. That stinks, man. What killed me? Was it a turret shot that came in? I don't know, but it felt like his he didn't have enough time to auto there, but I just died. I should have gotten down my W early rather than later. Oh, well. I'll go finish off his turret and then look to group. My R's up now as well, so. He'll probably be a full item off that, sadly. 900 gold. Yes, sir. He's barely even behind in gold spent now. 8 900 gold is it. If that, because my Riley's is way cheaper than that item. It's like 700 cheaper. I don't mind shoving up once I have R, because <clears throat> if I get ganked, I can turn it quite comfortably. Let's see if he's right here. He's been doing weird stuff like that. In fact, I want them to gank me so I can R Graves. I prefer not to R Yon just because there is the risk that he uh, gets a good timing on his dash back. Got the EQ auto. Block turret shot with W. Missed my Q. Taking his turret feels <clears throat> almost impossible with how fast he can clear waves. I almost have it though. Auto Q auto. 
Alright. I'm gonna press R. QE. Oh my gosh. We actually traded for that. That's insane. Crack and strong. I didn't flash or ghost though. He also didn't get a bounty, so I don't know if it really matters that much. Took me longer to break the turret than I thought. He also did a lot of damage. I held on to R for a while too, since uh, he was in his his like soul mode or whatever. I didn't want him to go backwards as I was casting R. Makes the fight kind of tricky. Something I could have done differently to change the outcome would have been to hold on to my W for longer to maximize the shield. Because the more damage we take or deal, it gives us more gray matter to activate. So that could have been good. Could have made the difference, honestly. Because I think we're only at like halfway if we used it at full. Dragon fight up in 13. I need to get over to that. I didn't want to miss that whole wave, but yeah, RTP bot, Yon's there. We need to slow this area down because Yon's going to be there. Yon could solo Zin for sure, I think. He's a level up, lethal tempo versus Conk. Kraken's turbo broken. All right, I'm coming. My R is up as well. We can do something here. We can do something here. My teammates come. All right. He flashed away. That kind of sucks. Auto cute. Got him with the Q auto. I'm still on a ghost or whatever. That was a really weird fight. Oh, he almost got me. Ooh, Yon, does he die there? Oh, he actually lives. My Q missed. Maybe Varus can finish? No. Man, that was such a weird fight. Got Rift Maker. We could go for a Thornmel, honestly. With how auto attack heavy these turd bags are. I hate, 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 hate Thornmel as an item, but... Against their team specifically, it could be decent. His cleanse is worthless. Aphelios might have taken cleanse not realizing. He came get out of... Clans actually couldn't even remove more to art previously. It had to be QSS or specialized champion abilities. So I guess the cleanse is really just for Varus R Morgar. I went on a failure. So he's the most fed person. We kill him, do damage to Lulu, Graves. There's just more of them than there was of us. Yon still had his R2 to get to us, which is kind of lame. Nobody can solo Yon. We basically just have to focus him. No one should really try to solo him. I think I could barely do it if I get to R on him early. But if I don't get to R on Yon early, then uh, kind of just auto me to death. Hmm. It's weird. There's nothing over here. This is all just dead space for whatever reason. I have no clue why Pantheon's going this deep. We need someone here. Everyone's basing. I don't think I can do anything here. There's three of them. Yeah. That sucks. Oh well. Pantheon got really excited for Arius. A little strange. He's not At the time, he's only one full item as well. I don't have Ghost or Flash, so getting to somebody is not going to be easy for me at the moment. They simply walk away. We can do something here. I have R. There's three bot. We need to do this. Got him with the EQ auto. I'll take him out. Let's walk him down. They love juking your Q, so you just want to get as close as you can realistically. Oh, he's on Ghost. Yon's here. Yon is indeed here. I'm glad Aphelios doesn't have Ghost. 
Killing AD carries who take clans or berry is so much easier than ghost AD carries. Ghost AD carries cut you out for 15 seconds. There might be something up. Ooh, blue buff. We need to get in the bush. Get our passive up. This extra movement speed and damage. I'll just take all of this, I guess. Their grave doesn't have much CS. It's definitely outscaling. Mm, I don't have R, so this fight's kind of weird for me. Get with the EQ. Pantheon takes it. Auto Q. Nice, nice. We should Baron off that, honestly. That's Baron. 100% with me and Zen. Zen self heals quite a bit. He can tank. Me and him are going to do roughly equal damage against Baron anyways. I'm already missing a lot of health as well. Zen needs to stand closer. Graves is on his way. Nice. When Graves is in our jungle, I guess he's just going to reset. Dragon's up in 20. We need to stall that. I'll get my health back real quick. Spend quite a bit of gold. Almost 2k. I'm on Ghost. I'll have Flash. I have R. Everything we need. He bought QSS. He doesn't realize. <laughs> he doesn't realize the QSS won't save him. He just doesn't know. Yeah. He <laughs> Poor guy. It's such an expensive, awkward item to buy too as an AD carry. You only get it when you <laughs> really have to. No AD carry wants to have to build that. Got with an EQ. Oh, I got the Lulu. Nice. I'll just flash it. Hey, buddy. Hey, QSS. I don't know if he used it on me or not, but he's dead. I had to flash the wall to even get into that fight. Really awkward fight. At least I still have Ghost. Nice. Earth Drag's huge for us. Played it on me and Zen. Makes it really hard for Yone to do anything. Plus, Pantheon Shield stalls out Yone quite a bit. Pantheon is arguably the tankiest champion in the game. Because regardless of what the enemy team has, when Pantheon presses Shield, they just can't really hurt him. It's what makes him so viable and oppressive in any region in ELO. Whether you're playing against Smurfs or Noobs, Pantheon's kind of nuts. Hmm, this is a weird fight. This is not a good fight. I don't even have R. I only came back mid because I figured my whole team was about to int. Yeah, they're all stacked up right here. My R's still not quite up though. Got her with the E, get her with the Q, auto. Alright, not bad. That's an E cube, we'll take it. Oof, there's a Q, we'll take it again. And I still have R here. We still have it. Didn't get to use it. The game's snowballing out of control. The enemies don't have a proper front line to hold for a Felius. So Felius is all the damage a team even needs, honestly. Him and Ari. Then they have Graves Yone, so their comp's just too hyper carry heavy. Too many chiefs, too many cooks in the kitchen, not enough uh not enough meat shields. That hurts. Eh. Alright, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm missing too much health for this crap. 
We got at least one of their base turret. We could still just play for Draxel. Hey, friend. Oh, he's actually going to beat me here. Oh, my gosh. He actually just... Dude, he won't yank him back. On my screen, it shows him as he's completely out of duration for the soul pull, and then it gives him another second and a half. That champion is so freaking loaded. He's healing a lot. I have to go Thorn Mel here. It's such a stupid item. 350 health. Woo you know what else gives like 300 health? Like every mage item in the game. Vitalize gives more health than Thorn Mel. It's not even supposed to be a tank item. 70 armor. It's just so garbage. I don't want to build that. I'll just go for Morello. I'm not being a build Thornmel. I'll go for something else. I, I think Randuins makes a lot of sense. They have triple crit champs. So yeah, I'll go... I'll go Randuins here. Me, Zen, Pantheon should all get Randuins, realistically. I'm going to look to our Aphelios. If I are Yoni, just autos me to death. Get him with the EQ. Boop. And goes in Pow. Yon's topside right now. Yon's going to kind of troll the game for his team. Alright, we just push with the middle minions here. Got a super minion. Should be more than enough against a single turret. No one's by far the strongest character on their team. He's the only one who can solo me. EQ. Boop. There it is. Boop. Didn't quite get it. Why is no one hitting the turret? I actually got, wait, I'm actually going to die here. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Yeah, we don't have Varus. That's really scary. Varus has been so useful this game, us not having Varus. We definitely can't fight there. It's a really good point he made. Even though we have a lot of kills, we don't have a real gold advantage. All of his items cost more. So the shutdown bounties. All the only real advantage we have is dragons at this point. Can't end. Morgana's low on mana. Basically, just she's not even there. Essentially, I'm just gonna play for the dragons. Now that I'm not here, now my teammates want to fight. But when I'm there. They say, sacrifice the more. It's just how it goes. So it's so important to pay attention to where your teammates are precisely. Because even if they're in the area, you, and you think, like, obviously they're going to help. They may very well be on the back foot retreating. How much armor? We have an extra 22 armor. Eh, yeah, something. 22 armor and uh, yeah, well, seven and 22. Where am I get? Oh, I see, because I have plated. I don't really need to be mid right now. I should have been bought. I can't really do anything against Yon is the thing. Got him. Holy crap, just barely though. Uh that was a weird fight. At least we got Yon. The cost of a ghost. We are gonna have to play for Drag Soul here. We don't have any real shutdown batteries on our team anymore. There's no real gold advantage from our team. Now it just comes down to late game scaling and 
Their, late, their late enemy late game scaling is pretty good as a whole. I'd say. I don't need this and can have it. He's only level 15. Uh, these things chase forever. They'll actually run you down into tri brush and hit you. I don't have R. I'm not really looking to fight there. I am going to get randomness here though. Randomness is broken. They have triple crit. Graves has a crit item. Yon has multiple. Velios has multiple as well. I wasn't sure if Stormraiser had crit on it for a second there. Yes, Gimitar. I need to R the Felios. Got him with my nothing. Alright, down he goes regardless. No way to keep up with that guy. He zoomed on out of there. They have long enough respawns. Can take inhib, get the last turret. Auto Q. Thirty one minute game. I want graves or R does it matter? Got her with the Q. Oh, I missed the Q timing. <laughs> feels bad. That's going to do it, though, for more. He definitely feels more consistent than not being able to get out of his R, but still can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a true shredder like Yon or Olaf. Let's look at the graphs. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we were number three, four-ish in the game. Pretty much tied up for number one, though. For damage taken, we were up there towards the top, roughly number three. For self mitigated, we were number two, and for runes high value. All in all, Mord feels more consistent once he's six. His pre six is essentially the exact same. Sure, Q slightly lower cooldown, but you're going to be feeling the difference mostly in the late game when people are buying things like QSS. Or if someone picks Gangplank, you don't have to be too scared because he can't orange his way out of your R. If you guys enjoyed this Mordekaiser video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what champion you want to see next. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.